guys, welcome to Digit.in where we bring in some cool gadgets, test them out and give you the results so that you can make a better purchase decision. So moving on from that, my name is Swapnil and today we've actually got the Logitech K230 keyboard with us. It's one of Logitech's lightest keyboards in the wireless series and I've actually been looking forward to this one for quite some time because I travel a lot and sometimes I don't want to carry my laptop, I just want to carry a tablet. So I was curious to see if this is something that would work. So before we actually get into any of uh, you know the testing based stuff for this keyboard today, we're just going to unbox it and see what your money gets you. So it's actually a fairly, even the box itself is supremely light and the unbox, oh, it's smart, huh? that is, it doesn't open from the side, it opens from the bottom. A little misleading there, but all right. So the keyboard is right here, nicely shrink wrapped. It's, oh, it's surprisingly light. Um, and it has a full numpad. So this is really cool because uh, for a lot of you, and even for me, the number pad is quite important. And on this side, you may notice there is this odd little white piece of plastic, which I'm assuming is where the batteries go. So you've got your batteries here. And now the keyboard is live. And just slide that back into place. So this thing locks pretty well, but I have a feeling that over a period of time, as you lock and unlock this uh, latch, it may become loose. Also, if you're gonna carry it in a backpack, there is a possibility that it just might pop open. So a little bit of tape just to keep it secure, not a big deal. Uh, there's also feet at the back. These give you an eight degree incline. So if you wanna just, uh, you know, have the keyboard be a little raised, that's great. And it's eight degrees, it's not a lot, but it is something, especially for people who find typing on a flat surface a little uncomfortable. Uh, maybe some people find that it hurts their wrist. So the incline is actually pretty useful. What's also really cool is Logitech bundles two extra battery covers in the box. So there's a blue colored one and a deep pink, maroon, whatever shade not a color scientist. So yeah, so you could actually just, you know, swap these out if you wanted to, which is pretty cool actually, because it also means that if you lose one, you have spare. Now, typically things like these are very hard to buy. If you lose something like this, how many of you have actually lost the battery cover door to your uh, smart TV's remote? And then been like, hey, I want a cover. You just don't get that stuff, right? So it's really nice of Logitech to sort of bundle this in the box. Um, okay, so let's see what else is there. And we also have in here the wireless receiver. So what's nice about this particular wireless receiver is that if you see this little symbol here, it means that it's a unifying receiver. So if you have this plugged into your laptop or your PC, uh, well, this keyboard will of course work and then you could buy a compatible mouse, a wireless mouse, which is also unifying certified and then just use the same dongle and have both the devices communicate over that. So that's pretty cool. So as I was thinking that maybe I'd be able to use this with my tablet, that would not be the case because this unfortunately does not have Bluetooth. It only works over wireless with this dongle. So I'm sure there will be some tablets that could make this happen, but well, not the one that I have. So. Yep, anyway, moving past that, this is just a quick look at what's inside the box of the Logitech K230. It's an extremely light keyboard, which comes bundled with spare battery covers. So thank you guys for watching this video.